have returned to Retford Cemetery today, which I do like, I must admit. As a cemetery, it's got some fantastic trees in it, rather like Mansfield Cemetery. That's well worth a wander around the older part, because there's a marvellous collection of old trees, and especially old conifers, like these. But I'm at Retford Cemetery for the search for a particular species of leaf miner, and it's a leaf miner which mines the leaves of evergreen oaks, of which there's a couple in Retford Cemetery, and they're over there, just over the canal. And even though the temperature is only just a degree or so above zero, there are a couple of invertebrates on this gravestone. And this is parent book. Now I did have and film parent book here in October, I think it was, when I was looking for the leaf mines of Stigmata Aceris on the Norway maples above my head. So to see this sat overwintering on this gravestone is extremely unusual but welcome nonetheless and there's more typical fare just further up this gravestone and here's said second species of course this is the harlequin ladybird and other species just sat openly on the northern side of this headstone. This is a well marked harlequin as well. It's the ladybird that people love to hate and think they've got to hate, but you don't really. And if you're wondering, head ends at the bottom. And there's yet more species to find. If you've watched previous two videos from Retford Cemetery you'll know that this is the larval case of Dalica tricotrella. And I've just found some other Dalica cases, which I'm not convinced are Trichotrella, because I think the Dalica Lycanella, and I'll see if I can grab a bit of footage of those. But Dalica Trichotrella, the larva tend to ascend gravestones during the late autumn, it's often on mild days in November, and there they pupate, usually under ledges and lips of any object and there they will pupate and wait for the spring and Dalekas all come out early you can expect them even as early as February as soon as it becomes mild and this stone holds yet more species because tucked away under this top lip of this stone, along with other Dalek alike and cases, is this cluster of seven spot ladybirds, of which I can count five. Six, if I put my hands in my pockets. And this is typical of seven spot ladybirds hibernating in clusters. Although Harlequin Ladybird does exactly the same, but tends to tuck themselves away a little bit more. 
found there's yet another species on this same gravestone. Because this is an old larval case of another Psychidae moth, Psychicaster, which I found a case of on one of these stones earlier in the autumn. And it was a new record for the cemetery. There is also yet another uh, Psychidae moth, and that's Luffia fercortella, of which a few cases are knocking around on these headstones. So within a few headstones at this cemetery, it's possible to knock off a number of species today, even when the temperature is just above freezing. And these are the other Dalek cases that I don't think are Trichotrella. Now I think these are Dalek Lycanella. Lycanella cases are smaller and shorter than Trichotrella cases. And they do tend to become covered in green algae, which these are showing signs of. So I'm going to take a couple of these cases and see if they hatch out. With Dalika Lycanella here would be about the fourth species of Dalika and other Sarkidae and a new record for this area of Nottinghamshire. Well, there's one thing, you certainly don't see many waterways going through Nottinghamshire cemeteries. But this canal splits one section of Retford Cemetery, an old section, from the newer section. Cemetery with a view. Now it is a bug that's a bit too big for its own and its overwintering home is this acorn cup and the bug is Hawthorn Shearbug. I'll just lift this up so we can see a little bit more of it. And there it is. Now there's something else tucked in there which I think is a cream spot ladybird but I don't want to dig it out because I don't want to disturb this. It just shows you. I've seen an empty acorn cup elsewhere on here that is playing winter home to a harlequin ladybird. And I dare say there will be seven spot ladybirds here as well. But the foliage of Holmoak is well used by ladybirds and by a number of species of shield bugs. And because it's evergreen, it offers protection. No sign of either leaf miner yet, but tucked away on a lot of these uh, branches and twigs are harlequin ladybirds, and there's one just there, and there's another one tucked under there. But I can also see them further up. But at the moment, no leaf miners. Which wouldn't be too surprising really because it's only earlier on this year that I finally found it in Southall on a holm oak in the grounds of Southall Minster. And that was a site that Dillis and I had been checking for a number of years, something like five or six years or more, before eventually I found it early in 2021 but I will keep 
persevering. There only needs to be one leaf line. Find one, and it's a new record for Nottinghamshire. And that's not it. Aha! I thought we were going to just set the tripod down. But that looked a suitable suspect. And here it is. One mine of Ectodemia Heringella. Two, three mines of Ectodemia Heringella. Both are occupied. And as it's so dark already, and yet we're only about half one, two o'clock in the afternoon, I'll be taking these home to get some photographs to show you. So I'm chuffed with that. It's been worth the little drive out to Redford. And where they are is typical of where I've found them before on other trees. And it's usually on the side opposite the side of the tree that gets most of the prevailing winds which in Nottinghamshire comes from the west so you want to look on the more sheltered side of the tree which is usually on the east sometimes on the northeast or southeast but there's no sign of stigmella superivora and now I can actually see more mines of Ectodemia Heringella. Success. I like it when a plan eventually comes off. And just to show you that I have actually found them, here we are sitting in Retford Cemetery. And these are the leaf mines of Ectodemia Heringella which is a small contorted gallery mine and because this is a low density population at the moment there are only single mines to a leaf if you get the chance to have a wander around the grounds of Nottingham University and check the hole moats there you will find up to a dozen or so mines per leaf I'm being heckled by a squirrel. I'll get your nuts, you little bleeder. Well, it's time to make tracks. God, it looks like I'm smoking. I can assure you that I'm not. I packed up that game a long time ago. So it's been well worth coming out here. And I'm surprised at the number of species it's, that it's been so easy to find. And some good species, some good records for Nottinghamshire. It would have been nice if we'd have seen a bit of sunshine during this visit, but... Not to be. It's barely really even got light today. I dare say it'll be dark by nightfall. By which time, I'll be home. <laughs>